Hi guys, welcome back to another video. Hope you guys are all doing good and well as usual. In today's video, I'm going to be touching base on a topic I did a while back where I took out polishes that were named the exact same in my collection and saw which brand did the name Justice. So in this edition, we're going to be doing a part two with a twist. Uh, the first eight polishes I'm going to show you are named the exact same. And then the second set of eight I'm going to show you have a name in common but are not the same. So we're going to be discussing the different aspects of each. Now in no way am I saying any of these polishes are better than the other. This is strictly just for fun, thought, and content. So I will be placing the first video I did up in the cards for you guys' reference. So please check it out if you want to understand what I'm talking about more in this video. I'm also going to be showing you guys some live swatches because if you, if you have been enjoying that, and it's something I want to do more on my channel. And lastly, I do have a few bonuses at the end for you guys. So stay tuned for that. And let's just get into this topic. The first two polishes we're taking a look at are both called Mosaic from Cirque Colors and Sweet and Sour Lacquer. Going in on my first coat of Mosaic, this is one of Cirque formulas I've wanted to try for a very long time now. It's an olive cream embedded with some gorgeous gold flakes. Now when I think of the word Mosaic, I think of a very colorful mural. And ironically, the mosaics I've seen tend to be very blue heavy. So it's a bunch of images made up and put together to be one big picture and it's usually multicolored. So with certain colors um, polish, we don't, we only see two colors. So I don't think this really fits th the meaning of mosaic. Regardless, it's a wonderful polish. But looking at Sweet and Sour Lacquers, which I actually got for PR in June of 2021 for PPU, the theme was rainbows. And this definitely embodies what a mosaic looked like. And it's a bonus, it's blue. And does look like a prison of rainbows on your nails. Really gorgeous. And I do think Sweet and Sour Lacquer does take the name for these two. Next, we have Hitchhiking Ghost from Cleona Cosmetics and Polish for Days. Now, I won't lie, when... Polish for Days first came out, I had to look up what these characters looked like because I had no idea what they were. Turns out they are a ride at an amusement park, I think. Yes, I believe. I've never been to it, but it looks super fun online. So for me, going in on my first cut of the Eclonus Cosmetics, I do feel like it embodies what the ghosts are hitchhiking in, like the ambiance. While Polish for Days um, emulates what the ghosts actually look like, that tealy shift that they have beautiful and they are very effulgent you can see them from far away just like you can see this gorgeous polish this is a polish that i got so many compliments on and for me i do think both of these embody the hitchhiking ghosts very very well <laughs> clona cosmetics is a canadian indie brand if you guys don't know they started making polish back in september of 2022 but they do also make makeup that's how the brand got started and polish for days is just oh, look at this polish you guys definitely one of my favorite blues in my collection right now it's absolutely breathtaking so you guys for me like i said both of these embody hitchhiking ghosts and the characters and the background very very well they're both so beautiful Third up, we have Lights Out from ILMP and KB Shimmer. This is the first of two we're going to be comparing for this brand. Now, going in my first coat of Lights Out, I will say this isn't one of my favorite ILMPs just because um, when I got it and tried it for the first time, it didn't look like the swatches online, which ILMP can be guilty of sometimes. Regardless, they're a great brand. But this one just didn't really give me that fiery red I was looking for. While the KB Shimmer, I mean, you guys, look at the brush. I'm not even looking at my nail as I swatch this. I'm looking at the brush. <laughs> it's just so pretty. Those colors really embody what the polish tries to convey a campfire after a day of adventure when you're just slowing down relaxing by a fire and look at the red and the blue and the purple has the night sky with the fire being the red of course gorgeous this is definitely one of my favorite multi-chromes in my collection at the moment <laughs> even though i haven't worn it has a full hand swatch but going in on my second coat of island peas lights out you can see it's kind of sheer and there's no really fiery red it's more of a black very like cherry burgundy color which is fine but it's just not what i was wanting <laughs> out of these two i do think island p does take the cake for this title with their lights out just the dual chrome in there you guys yeah 
it's stunning and this is definitely a polish that makes me want to you know acquire more dual crumbs in my collection because this just really impressed me um sometimes i get turned off by them because they don't shift on the nails as well they do in the bottle but this one definitely um did not disappoint in any way whatsoever i really really do love it and just has for good measure i'm going to go in for another coat of island peas lights out just so you can see what i was talking about and kind of how there's really no shift but it is a beautiful color regards it's not one of my favorites I'll probably really just stash this but i'm gonna crown kb shimmers lights out for <laughs> taking the title for these two but regardless of course they're both beautiful exquisite polishes next for the last same name we have china glazes and picture polishes ahoy now as i'm looking at this i'm totally getting watermelon vibes not really <laughs> nautical vibes but regardless this is actually doubles has a pantone pick of the year for viva magenta this is a beautiful polish with a glass and fuchsia gold fleck really really nice and definitely just looks like a succulent lollipop on your nails <laughs> um and going in on my first coat of picture polishes ahoy this polish is just a one coater it's such a fabulous really really like earthy toned green which makes me kind of lean towards giving this the title for ahoy just because it's closest to blue on the spectrum and you know i'm thinking nautical vibes i'm thinking the blues the reds and the whites but neither of these, you know, embody those colors, which is fine. But I do, I would say on my end that Ahoy does take this for the title. And also, I love it for the reason that has the black flex in there. So I'm a bit biased. <laughs> no shame. But yeah, I do really love this polish. I think it's really perfect for the summer and even really for the fall. You know, I don't think it's too dark to enjoy it in the summer. But let me know what you guys think about which crown deserves this title for the name Ahoy. I do think it's picture polish on my end. But as for good measure, has the Island P, I'm going to do three coats of China Glazes Ahoy just so you guys can see how juicy and, you know, vibrant this polish is. I've used a whole bottle of this polish. I absolutely love it. And yes, as I said, picture polishes takes the key. So now we're going into the twist part. So we're going to be talking about H&M's So Heather and Sally Henson's Heather Hustle. Now, I don't know if any of you guys have ever noticed, but anytime the name Heather is in a polish, there's always some kind of lilac, purple or pink kind of notation to it and i tried to look up you know the correlation between the name heather and the color purple or pink and i couldn't find any so if you guys know please let me know because i really like to know so anyways going back to um who did the name better or com you know comparing the differences from what i've seen in the nail polish world i think both of these kind of take the title you know i feel like heather's kind of a boss you know she's going out there getting what she wants you know it's like so heather to be such a hustler yeah that's what i think about these polishes it's a very like they're it's very statement looking polish gets you kind of noticed and even though lilac is light it can also be very bold so on my end i do think both of these really do take the title um you know, just considering what I've seen. P also has um, a flaky speckled lilac polish and it does have the name Heather. So there's another one for you guys if you want to check out. But as I said, if you guys know the correlation, let me know in the comments. Next, we're taking a look at P's Bulletproof Symphony and KB Shimmer's Bittersweet Symphony. So P's did come out in a metallic collection, hence the name. So... I, I guess what I think of, well, I'm never really thinking of bullets, but, you know, I guess they kind of have more of a brassy vibe from what I've seen in movies. I don't know. But um, I do think this does have a very metallic-y vibe. It kind of almost looks like it has a bit of bar glitters with that silver in there, but it doesn't. But I kind of like that effect. It's very, like, holiday-looking to me. And it does say on the website this does have a red shift, but I don't see that on my nail line there. But maybe I'll see it with the second coat. And going in on KB Shimmer's first pewter bitterfruit bittersweet symphony this was based off fall drives in minnesota when you see like little berries dropping on the ground with crimson sunsets it's kind of represents the bittersweetness of fall you know with the bitterness we get so much sweetness with all the color you know so i do think this polish kind of really 
embodies that fall vibe. And, you know, going on those late fall drives and stuff, it's kind of what it looks like when berries drop on the ground. I do, I would say the KB Shimmer does match the name for what it's trying to represent. And so does ILMP for the Bulletproof Symphony. It's very metallic. It's kind of like a symphony of metallic on your nails. That's the vibe I'm getting from this polish. I'm going in on my second coat of KB Shimmers. This polish is such a unique one, and it took me a while to really appreciate it because my nails were short. But now that I'm swatching it on a long nail, I really do like it, and I want to get on my nails soon again. It can be an awesome Halloween polish with the red dots in there. Very, very cool. So I do think both of these match the name really well for what each of them mean. And I mean, I can't wait to get Bulletproof Symphony on my nails as a full manicure because I really do want to see that red shift. The next two we're going to be talking about is Essie's Raspberry and Polish for Days Raspberry Chocolate. Now, <laughs> don't mind my swatch on this Essie because it has the dinky little brush. I need to change it out. But until then, <laughs> this polish is really beautiful. I actually almost forgot I had this in my collection. It also doubles as another pick for the Pantone color of the year, Viva Magenta. It's a juicy red raspberry cream. That's great for the summertime. And now we're going to take a look at a pick for a transitional shade from summer to fall for me. I do think this looks like a raspberry was dipped in delicious milk chocolate. <laughs> really love this polish. Polish for Days makes the most amazing polishes I've ever seen. They're so effulgent, so in your face. They're absolutely beautiful. So going into my second coat of raspberry hair, it's just so juicy on the nails, just like China Glaze's Ahoy, but you know, it's just without the sparkle. Love this so much and definitely just, you know, matches the name Raspberry. <laughs> and I would say also Fall for Days ratches, matches the name of Raspberry Chocolate. You know, it's very just, yeah, my fingers look like a juicy dessert right now. I'm sorry, but it does. <laughs> so yeah, I do think both of these really do embody the names really well. So that's another one. And the last two I'm going to show you is from Bees Knees Lacquers called The Mask and KB Shimmers Mask Me Again. I feel like I've talked about this polish so many times without trying it, but here we go. <laughs> so Bees Knees Lacquer is based off, this polish is based off a character in the book or the show A Silver Court of Flames. I don't know the show, but I did look up the character. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think it's a maiden that is dressed in blue with a golden mask on. So I would say, you know, if that's what this is, it does embody the name very well. Um, and I, Bees Knees Lacquers makes one of the most glowy polishes I've ever seen. It's gorgeous. And going in on my first coat of KB Shimmer's Mask Me Again, this is based off um, avocado masks and taking them off and it leaves a pink glow on your skin. So I would say this fits the name very well because, you know, who doesn't want that glow on your skin? Yes, Mask Me Again for sure, over and over again. <laughs> so while I do love KB Shimmer's um, color here, I do think the reflective polish are super hard to um, apply. They're super goopy, especially for KB Shimmers formula. There's our reflectors I've tried that haven't been, so I'm going to have to play around for this one, maybe thin it out. But on my second coat of Bees Knees Lacquer, it's just that glow is so, so beautiful. Absolutely love it. <laughs> it kind of is giving me a bit of Kelowna Cosmetics vibes without um, the shifty sparkle in there. But beautiful polish, and I think it matches the character well. And I do think KB Shimmer's Mask Me Again <laughs> matches Avocado Mask and the pink glow you get very, very well. So for me, these polishes both um, match their name very, very well. All right, guys, we have reached the end and to the bonus part. So these last few I'm going to show you are absolutely the last polishes I have. I twist on are at the same in my collection that I can possibly think of. If I do acquire more of these in my collection, I'll definitely do a part three. And if you guys enjoyed this video, give part one and part two a big thumbs up. So the first two I'm going to show you are both called Playdate from Essie and ILMP. Playdate is one of Essie's most popular purples i'd say it did come out when s used to do their resort collections where it was just like four or three piece uh polishes and this one oops this one uh came out in a trio it's very beautiful it's just this soft delicate lilac color that is fantastic so when i think of the word play day i think you're just having a fun time you know either with getting like your kids together if you have kids or just 
you know, just getting together with whoever. It doesn't strictly have to be a play date for kids, right? It could be a play date for girls, whatever you want. <laughs> but I do think these polishes are really light and fun and represent just, you know, kind of that play date vibe. Also, this Violin P did come out in their summer, their first summer collection last year. And I think this would really look good on the toes. I know this one does already because I've tried it, but yeah. Both of these fit the name quite well. The next two I have are again from Cleona Cosmetics and Polish for Days. These are both called Pegasus. I have tried the Cleona Cosmetics and this was based off the Herc sorry, the Pegasus that was in Hercules. I never watched Hercules, but I did see the picture and this polish matched it very well. <laughs> so um, this did come out in I believe this was October of 2022. I think it was Mythical Creatures. So yeah up that alley <laughs> and now we have a uh, polish for days pegasus which you know pegasus it's a mythical creature so it can really look like anything you want it's not real it's your imagination so this one i do think embodies that really well i do kind of see pegasus as like a dreamscape kind of vibe so i do think that represents that well this is a dusty periwinkle with those awesome tealy gorgeous flakes definitely one of my favorite flakies in my collection it's from polish for days of course it is but i will say both of these embody the name for Pegasus. And the last two we have are a twist once again. So this is from Saki Cosmetics. This is called Blueberry Mousse and I do have Fancy Glosses Blueberry Cheesecake. So one of them is a thermal and Fancy Glosses, I did try this back in November of 2022 and my nails weren't quite as long as they are now. So I will have to try this one again to see the shift very very well because when your nails are long thermal polishes will have the best results and my nails are long right now who knows how, la how long that's going to last so I will have to get this on my nails again but I do think this matches the name of the blueberry cheesecake quite well when it's in its light um when it's in its warm state it turns into this iridescent um white with this gorgeous pink shimmer and then when it's in its blue state it's this indigo purple color with the pink shimmer so goes with the name blueberry cheesecake quite well especially with the transition and here we have sake cottage blueberry mousse which kind of gives me more cotton candy cloud vibes i would say um blueberry mousse would kind of have a more satin finish instead of this glowy finish but you know this is all subjective of course <laughs> but for me this had more of like a satiny cream finish i would say it goes with the name better but you know what it still goes the name pretty well it's blueberry looks like a dessert both these are dessert names so yeah but if this one didn't have more of a shimmer i would say it would match the name very well it's giving more of a cotton candy blue vibe like cloudy vibe but anyway that's those two okay guys like i said hope you enjoyed this video and let me know some name comparisons in your collection where you think the name did it the best or let me know if you have any twists as well thanks so much for watching i appreciate it i'll see you in my next one take care